Mr. Chairman, Your Honor, Mr. Prime Minister, and distinguished guests, I think that includes everybody. I am sure to thousands throughout the province of Saskatchewan, uh, this Golden Jubilee is an occasion for thanksgiving, especially for that great company to which I am proud to belong, who came here in territorial days and who witnessed the birth of the province. We are thankful that divine providence has permitted us to see this day. We are thankful to have had the opportunity to help in laying the foundations, spiritual, educational, and humanitarian, as well as those of an economic character. I am personally deeply grateful to the people of Saskatchewan for the privilege of serving for 10 years, from the 11th to the 21st year of the province, as provincial treasurer and as premier for four of those years. <coughs> I shall always be deeply grateful, too, for the training which the people of Saskatchewan gave to me and for the opportunity which they gave to a boy of 17, which I do not think could be equaled in any other part of the world. I say that with some feeling because I am convinced that the opportunities of my day are here for the teenagers of today. The people of Saskatchewan are the same kind of people who were so kind to me. Why they even, Mr. Premier, forgave my mistakes <laughs> when I confessed having made them. <laughs> I think most of us who came here around the turn of the century wanted more than anything else, more independent personal and family freedom and opportunity than we could see in the lands from which we came. Territorial and early provincial history is full of the stories of strongly independent characters who proclaimed freedom of expression and independence of the individual in no uncertain terms. This strongly independent feeling was modified in action by the necessity of coming to terms with the land, the climate, and the conditions of life here. Out of this grew the Saskatchewan type of interdependence and voluntary cooperation for which the people of this province are best known outside their borders. I think it had its foundation in the B for the building of the original house and the barn, when neighbors from miles around gathered to help erect the buildings. It developed further through cooperative thrashing machines, rural telephones, and so on through to the great economic organizations of today. If I were asked to name the most priceless asset of the Saskatchewan people, I would not speak of wheat or minerals, oil or forest products, but would point to that basic philosophy of life which has developed here. The knowledge that everything worthwhile in community life, whether spiritual, educational, or economic, is possible for free men and women through voluntary cooperation with each other. <laughs> Saskatchewan people are still strongly independent in thought and action. Nevertheless, through voluntary cooperation by free men and women, they have developed a degree of interdependence which, Mr. Prime Minister, is a striking contribution to Canadian culture. <laughs> is it too much to hope that 50 years from now, those who assemble as we are assembled tonight will be able to look back and say that greater progress 
in every form has come about through adherence to this great basic philosophy which is so closely identified with the life of the people of Saskatchewan.